Minister, good to have you in, in the chamber uh, for this um, very important bill today. And I'm delighted to be seconding um, this, this, this bill. And I take a very simple approach to the issue relating to student nurses, because at the heart of this bill is that fundamental question of what is work. And if we define work as that contribution by a person to the operation or functioning of a service or a facility or the production of a good, then you know, that gives us some insight as to uh, the situation of student nurses at this point in time. And by definition, no worker should ever be put in a situation where they're forced to work without pay, without a recognition of the contribution they have made to the particular workplace they find themselves in. And it's also important to recognise that there is a very significant distinction between a placement where somebody is shadowing a trained, experienced worker versus a situation where somebody is actually working in their own right. And the reality in Irish hospitals at this point in time is that there are student nurses first, second, third and fourth year student nurses who are working. And from the hundreds of stories that have come in to Senator Howey and indeed the rest of us in, uh, as my colleagues, the TDs and Senators in the Labour Party, the reality is um, that they are working within wards in this country. T uh, students telling us about having to tend to patients on their own, a third year student talking about having to sit and explain to a dementia patient about why staff are wearing masks, having to spend time with that dementia patient. Another saying that she felt like she was being treated as just another number to help out when staff are under pressure. A second year student talking about being told to break the bad news to a family. And a third year a student saying that she was given the responsibilities of a qualified midwife. And you know, there's a reason for all of this. And it's because of the huge staff shortages we're seeing in Irish hospitals at this point in time. Over the past 12 weeks, we've had 14,322 incidences of COVID amongst healthcare workers in our hospitals. Nurses and healthcare assistants have made up over 50% of those numbers. Minister, these are figures that you know well. But that's 7, 000, over 7,000 workers either isolating and their close contacts, the vast majority, having to, rest to, 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 to stay out of work for a period of time, which is obviously putting enormous pressure on the health system. So it's not realistic to expect that student nurses are having the luxury of, 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 of being able to, to shadow trained workers. They're having to work to, 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 to contribute to the work that's been done. And I suppose government faces a choice here. It faces the choice of saying that student nurses should not be working um, and to take a black and white view of this or to recognise the reality that student nurses are working in hospitals because of the shortages in numbers. And I suppose what I find ironic in all this is that last March, the then government saw the need to offer uh, contracts, uh, healthcare assistant contracts to student nurses whose placements were suspended in recognition that there was a need to put as much resources into the Irish hospital system. But of course, that uh, system has ended and we now have this uh, middle ground where student nurses are working but are being told by government that they're not really working. I just want to conclude on this and say, Minister, you're, you, you, you find yourself in a situation where you, you have inherited a, a huge uh, staffing deficit within the Irish hospital system and that has been hugely exacerbated by the, uh, the pandemic. Uh, and, and we know that the pressures within the Irish hospital system over the coming years, because of ageing, because of the incidence of chronic diseases in this country, the, the, the staffing demand is enormous. There has been repeated calls for many years now by SIP2, by the INMO, by other unions working in the health sector, calling for a significant ramping up of recruitment. And yet we see the pace of progress in that way too slow. The reality of why student nurses are working at the moment is because we don't have enough people in the, in, 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 working in the hospitals. Uh, we're asking you to recognise that reality, pay student nurses in the here and now. Gurmagut.